Hi everyone, I'm Amber Kanoy with Deco Art and we are celebrating the 12 days of Christmas. Make sure you tune in each day for a great idea for an ornament that you could find on your tree. Hello everyone, I'm Amber Kanoy with Deco Art and I'm going to show you how to make this adorable star right now with some simple things. We've got a paper mache star ornament that we picked up at a local craft store some scrapbook paper and just a couple of little buttons and of course our decoupage. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut out the triangles that you see here uh, using our scrapbooking paper and we want to rotate those colored prints just like we have here. Now I like to turn this over and use the back side and I actually like to kind of crease it and then trace it with my pencil. That way I don't have any marks showing later. So I'm going to get my pencil. Right. The great thing about this is once you cut out one for each side with your paper, you can just, you know, take this and use it as a stencil almost to uh, cut out your others. Let's double check, make sure it matches up. And it does. Well, I've already got several of those cut out here. I'm going to take my decoupage. I'm going to use a number 10 brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply a base coat to one of the triangles on the star just to cover that. And I'm going to work on each individual triangle piece at a time. That way I'm making sure that this doesn't dry in between. Go ahead and put that down. All right. Going to very delicately. Wonderful. Now, always a tip when using decoupage, work from the, you know, the center of your piece of paper out. That way you're forcing out any air bubbles and you're going to get a really nice finished product. Okay, moving on. My next color, I want to make sure we have that, those contrasting prints. Put my base coat down here. And we are again going to use the same technique, working from the inside out, forcing out any air bubbles that might be in there. These don't have to be exact. If you get to the finished product after you've let it dry and you see that you've got some unevenness, you can easily go back with some sandpaper and an exacto knife, um, even some scissors if you're very skilled, and trim that away and make it, make it look really nice. Well, everything is dried and I'm getting ready to add my buttons, but just real quick, a great way to make this really festive is use one color palette on this side and a completely contrasting one on the other. So you can see I've already added my button here. I'm going to grab my hot glue gun and finish this off. Always being very careful with hot glue. All right. And there you have it. 